Kyler, I guess, uh, makes it a little bit more comfortable for your first camp. Uh, a lot of guys you know from the dub. Uh, we just talked to Caleb and Ethan Bear, guys you've played head-to-head, -head, Stuart Skinner. Make it a little bit easier coming in first time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely being able to share a room with uh, Stu and after dev camp, I stayed with him a little bit. And uh, knowing he's here and knowing all the guys that I played in the dub, it uh, really means uh, that I'm more comfortable and it's going to be a lot easier on me. Ask him any tips on how to score on goalies? Um, try to, but he doesn't give it away. <laughs> Excited to uh, rekindle the chemistry with Joseph? I am. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, he's an excellent player, and it's uh, really looking forward to it. What's your expectations coming into your first camp? Uh, obviously, you want to get noticed. How do you feel you're going to go about that? Um, just work as hard as I can every day, making sure I'm doing the little things right and um, making sure I'm opening my ears, listening to everything. And, um, you know, if you're working hard, good things are going to happen to you. What's the world of the junior showcase? Could you just talk about the line you play on and successful that was? Um, it was awesome. I uh, played with Logan, Logan Brown and Casey Middlestat. They're tremendous players and um, I played with them a little bit before and uh, being able to play with them again it was a tremendous experience and um, they're both great hockey players. thought about the World Junior if you don't make the Oilers or is that too far down the road? Uh, I think that's a little bit far down the road. Um, you know just taking one step at a time and you know obviously trying to make this team but if that doesn't happen then um, you know, focus on my season and um, when the time comes and I'll start thinking about it. So between the draft and now you've bulked up to what? What do you weigh now? Uh, about 155. Uh, it's, been, it's been a tough one to gain weight, but uh, it's coming slowly but surely. What do you weigh at the draft? Uh, I weighed at the combine. I think I weighed 146. So, so yeah, so it's, it's getting there. You too many pounds to slow you down? Yeah. Is that what you think or not? Uh, no, no. Um, my trainers, they're putting on the right weight, so I think if I'm putting on the right weight, then um, it's going to make me go faster. Now, gaining weight's one thing, but strength is obviously the importance. Guys, whether they're 200 or, or 180, it's all about their strength component. Do you feel you've gained the strength, and is that really going to be the thing for you to go to the next level? There's guys who can play at under 170, but it's the strength necessary to play at that weight. Yeah, I think um, if you're gaining that right weight and you're getting that strength, it's definitely going to help you out a lot. If you're gaining that Poor weight, it's not going to help you out. So I think I've been gaining that right weight, and it's definitely going to help me out a lot. Between the combine, the draft, the, the showcase, very busy summer for you, what do you do to unwind, or did you get a chance at all? Uh, you know, just hang out with family and friends. Um, I think that's the best way to get me, um, you know, off my mind and, you know, just to relax a little bit, just hanging out with them and um, just having a good time in Spokane. So does Kyler Johnson stay with you in the summers too? Does he give you any money after that new contract? <laughs> Uh, he skates with me uh, a little bit. He, he likes to take a little bit of time off. He plays a lot of hockey, so he takes a little bit of time off. But towards the end of the um, summer, he starts to play a little, uh, a little bit more and um, starts to skate with me a little bit more.